It's true. I bought an entire pet store for a homeless dog. It cost me over $20,000, countless hours, and I had to put together an entire team to be able to pull this off. And all of this for one homeless dog. But you have to come along with me so that I can show you how I did it. And I know some of you might be thinking all of this for one homeless dog, but just wait until you hear the full story. See, it all started when I met this pit bull named Zeus. Oh, good boy. He's a happy-go-lucky dog. He's about two years old, and he's got such a great temperament. Ah, just look at that face. How could you not fall in love with a smile like that? And for Zeus to smile that big when he's shown a little bit of love, even though he doesn't have a family or a home, is the reason dogs are so amazing. You see, Zeus is currently at a shelter. He was found wandering, scared, alone, out on his own for months. And you can tell because his skin is in really bad shape. At first, it was really hard for me to understand why he was left out there roaming around for so long. I mean, when he meets you, he's so friendly and loving, but then it hit me. It was most likely because of the stereotypes of pit bulls. I can imagine him approaching people for help and a lot of people pulling back because the stereotype has him labeled as a ferocious beast. But here's the good news. The San Gabriel Valley Humane Society in California heard about him, scooped him up, and now are doing everything they can to help find him a home. You see, their entire team is amazing. Recently, when I was there visiting, I was walking down the kennels and there was just something about Zeus. He caught my eye. He was calm, collected, happy. And there was something about him that just drew me to him. I knew at that time, I had to take action to help Zeus. He's been in the shelter for five months and the only reason, I guarantee you, the only reason he's still in the shelter is one thing, he's a pit bull. Yeah, he, lo he loves to play, come on. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Okay, so if you've seen my other videos where I take homeless dogs to the pet store and we buy them anything they touch, we have a lot of fun doing it because a lot of times these guys have never been to the pet store. They've, they've never had someone show them love like that. I would love to do that with him. My concern is, not him, it's the stereotype against pit bulls. You go into a store, people tense up, he feels that energy. It could be bad. If you've been watching any of my videos, you know that I've been taking homeless dogs to pet stores and buying them anything they touch. And you all have been so supportive. You've been sharing it. It's been getting millions of views. And most importantly, we've been getting some amazing dogs adopted. Now, if you're new here and you love dogs, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. I'd love to have you as part of this family. And for those of you who watched my last video, I just have to give you a big thank you. You shared the video, you hit that thumbs up button, you commented, all of that to help Bosco find a loving home. And you know what? The video went viral. It reached all the way to number six trending on YouTube. Now at the end of the video, I introduced Zeus and I asked you, should I take him shopping or is the stereotype against pit bulls just too much? And I was blown away by how many of you commented with your story that you had had a bad experience because your pit bull had been stereotyped against for no reason. But you know what? A stereotype isn't gonna slow us down. In fact, it gave me an idea that's one of my biggest ideas ever. And today we're gonna do something huge for my boy Zeus. If I can't take Zeus to the pet store, what if I brought the pet store to Zeus? Okay, let's do it. But if we're gonna do it, we need the land, we need a giant tent to act as a pet store, and we need approval. I'm Cindy Rigney. I'm the board president here at St. Gabriel Valley Humane Society. Rocky called me one day and he said, let's put together an entire pet store. We'll have it for Zeus, we'll have it for all the animals at St. Gabriel Valley Humane Society. Awesome. The bones of the tent are set up and now all we have to do is fill that giant 30 by 40 square foot tent with product. Now, I know we can do it, it's just, it's not going to be easy and you're probably wondering, like I was, how in the world we can afford to buy all the product that needs to go in there. Well, I'll tell you, it's actually really cool. Audible is sponsoring this video. So in part, I'm using those funds to buy all of the product that can go in this tent so we can give this entire pet store to Zeus and the shelter he's in. I'm a big fan of Audible because I use it almost every single day. I love listening to books. When you go to audible.com slash Rocky or text Rocky to 500-500, get your first audiobook for free when you try Audible for 30 days. And you might be wondering, Rocky, uh, what's your favorite book? What are you listening to right now? Well, I'm glad you asked. So here's how I do it. I download it to my phone. Like right now, if you look at my phone, the, the, the top one, because I, I've listened to this more than once, is A Dog's Purpose. It gets my heart every time. I listen to audiobooks when I run, when I go on road trips, in my house when I just want to relax. I flip on an audiobook. It's a great way to learn. It's a great way to escape. It's a great way to really find the connection to things you love. Like 
for me, dogs. I would recommend that that be the first book that you download to listen to is A Dog's Purpose, uh, but there are a lot of other really great ones. So here's what I want you to do. As soon as we're done watching this video, I want you to go check it out. Support companies that are helping support me and what I do and helping these rescues. Get your first audiobook for free when you try Audible for 30 days. Go to audible.com slash Rocky or text Rocky to 500-500. It's a really good deal. Try it out for me, but also try it out because we gotta support companies that are help supporting awesome initiatives like this. So most of the time, shelving. Okay, now next, we had to get tens of thousands of dollars worth of product, all delivered pretty much on the same day, which wasn't gonna be easy, but I did know where I would start. You see, a lot of animal shelters have an Amazon wish list, so they list everything that they need on there, and then you can go buy things for them, and it ships right to them. So I started there. I thought this would be perfect because now we're gonna be ordering a lot of the products that they desperately desperately need. Okay, we also spent a couple weeks calling every company that we could just getting the best buy prices possible so that one, we could fill all of the space and build this pet store, but two, it's really important for us to get as much product as we could for the money because after the dogs go shopping, the remaining product goes to the shelter. Got it. Okay. And then, okay. Let's go get the truck. Let's go get the truck. Yeah. I need keys for the for my truck. I appreciate all you guys coming out to volunteer. It means the world to us. I know it means the world to Cindy. Absolutely, thank you! <laughs> uh, so, so basically, it's really simple. We just need to build a pet store in about one day. <laughs> uh, I'm here to deliver a pet store. <laughs> you, know, you know where I should, is this the right place? Right direction. Let's just get going here. All right, you ready? Okay, we've got the product, we've got the volunteers, we've got the tent set up. Now, we just gotta get to work. Three, two, one. All right, let's get this build started. There's a really smart shopping dog, they'll buy this because then they can just play fetch with themselves all day at the shelter. Go ahead and lean that back and see if it's a little more even. When I brought this idea up, yes. Do you think I was crazy or do you think we could pull it off? Oh, I'm used to your crazy ideas. You? <laughs> As we were putting everything together, I ran into an animal control officer that let me know they just brought in a little dog that needed help. Hey, you look like you've been lost for a little while, huh? Where'd you, where'd you find this one? Uh, this one was over at Temple City. I received a call. It was really matted, and so we, we impounded it. Then we contacted the owner. We got approval from the owner that they were just going to relinquish the dog to us. Do we have uh, the name on this one? No, we don't. No we name. Have a dog. It's always tough when you meet a dog that doesn't have a name because there's so much that goes into a name. But there's good news because San Gabriel Valley, they jumped into action, they cleaned him up, they gave him the surgery he needed. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I came to all of you, you suggested names, and then we all narrowed it down to Ziggy. So everyone, meet Ziggy. Wow, look at that. I mean, you can see that his haircut makes him feel better, but if you look at his face, you can see just how happy he is. What a transformation. Hey, Rocky, what are you doing? Making the pet store sign. I was blown away by all of the passion and the hard work that all of the volunteers put into pulling this whole pet store together. I mean, we did it all in one day. All right, it's about to get dark, so we're closing up the tent and uh, we're gonna start bright and early again and tomorrow starts the shopping. So uh, I can't believe we actually got it done. Uh, if you're a volunteer and you're watching this, thank you. And big day tomorrow, big day. Okay, the store is set up and, and we're grabbing the volunteers. Can't believe we were able to do this. Welcome everybody. Some of you have already seen the pet store because you worked so hard with me yesterday. Uh, Cindy has not seen it, so I thought it would be a lot of fun to surprise her. You guys all work so hard 
and you're so deserving to have something like this. I can't wait for all the dogs to go shopping. And then for us, when whatever's left is all going back to the shelters. Woo! All right. Oh, this is gonna be great. Cindy dedicates so much to these animals. I can't wait to see what she thinks. Three, two, one. Okay, so what do you think? You think the dogs will like shopping in this pet store? I think the dogs are gonna love shopping in this pet store. I think this is gonna be phenomenal is what I think. Okay, <laughs> well, let's say we clear these people out and get the okay. dogs in here. All righty. Okay, everybody, we're kicking you out because it's time for the dogs to go shopping. Okay. All right, let's go, let's go. Woo! Okay, I gotta be honest, I'm a little bit nervous because it is time for this baby seal, AKA Zeus, to go shopping at his very own pet store. Okay, bud. You ready? You ready? Oh, oh, oh. Let's do it. Come on. Come on, go shopping, buddy. What do you want? We haven't even started shopping yet, my man. Okay, come on. Come on. What do you want? What do you want? Okay. You want anything? Oh. Oh, you like those? I think, I think we're supposed to shop and take that with us, not just eat right out of the bulk bin, buddy. We know he loves treats. He's already loving this right out of the gate. I tell you what, hit the thumbs up button for Zeus. If we get 50,000 thumbs up, I will take him on his very own dog's day out. Like he, he's loving this, you can tell, but I will take him on a special dog's day out if we can do 50,000 thumbs up. Oh, he touched dog food. Yes. Okay, okay, you want some dog food? What's that? Okay, here, Umi. Here you go. There's all that in the cart. You want one of those? Okay. Okay. Oh, you're gonna eat the inventory right now? Okay. Okay. You want those? Okay. Like that. Like that. Okay. Try to pick some bowls. Okay. 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 <laughs> He's greasing all the bowls. Look at this. Check this. Check this shirt out. I feel like that would be perfect for you. Okay. He hasn't picked any toys yet, but I'm wondering if he likes toys. He may not even know what toys are, right? He might not ever have them. What? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> you did like that, huh? Okay, my man. You did good. You're a good shopper. That's a good boy. Good face, like a happy boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good boy. Yeah. All right, that's a full cart. I think we go check out. Come on. Okay, now it's seven dog hairs instead of doll hairs. The bowls, I don't know. Let's call that, let's call that $10. One million doggy bones <laughs> for the for the United States of German Shepherd. You can be the United States of Pibble. Uh, yeah, I'll need all of that. I'll need. All yeah, it's pretty much all of it. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight million doggy bone dollars. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're out of change. He's so happy. I love about that is that is a perfect example of how pit bulls are completely stereotyped, right? I mean, this pit bull right here just had the best shopping experience. There was no aggression, he wasn't, he wasn't ferocious, he just, like any other dog, just had a really awesome day. And now, we're gonna let his friends go shopping too. So, let's keep on shopping. I mean, to see Ziggy's transformation, now he gets to go shopping, let's do it. Okay, bud, let's go, let's go shopping, come on. What do you got? What's this? You want <laughs> You want dog food? Does it feel good to be shopping? Does it feel good? You want this? Oh. <laughs> I think Ziggy touched that big stick. I, he was like really close, but he could, his cone wouldn't let him reach it, but we're gonna, he's gonna get it. We're gonna help him out. How much are those? What, how much is that? Five dollars? He's a little guy, so I'm also gonna put some things on the ground just to help him out so he can pick some things. I feel like, he could, he could use a new shirt, maybe a new collar and leash. He had a new outfit. Come on, come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> All right, so look at this. <laughs> I 
I got it 99 problems and food would solve 97 of them. <laughs> I'll front you some cash here. I've got uh, 1 million doggy bones. Put that right in there. Here's some good news. The shopping spree wasn't the only surprise we had for Ziggy. You see, someone fell in love and decided to adopt him. So I'd like to introduce you to his new family. Well, here he is. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, here you go. Yeah. Oh, there you go, Ziggy. You got a new mom. He went shopping, so he got a new collar and he got a new shirt. Oh, thank and you so yeah, much. That's, thank you. that's all for him. <laughs> if that doesn't make you happy, I don't, I don't know what does. Hit that thumbs up for Ziggy and his new life. Ziggy got to go shopping. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to have his new family go shopping with Ziggy. So I let him pick out anything that they wanted at the pet store so that he can go home with all kinds of toys and treats and clothes and whatever they want. Here's what we're doing right now. We're gonna get all the little dogs. We're gonna line them up and they're all gonna come shopping. Shopping spree. Oh, okay, he touched a bowl. Oh, okay, put that, throw that bowl in there. Come on, take this or slim jam. Want a big bag of food? Okay, okay. All right. Here you go. Did she pick cat litter? Okay. Everything's for sale. Thanks for coming by. Good I wish I would go to a store and it would be zero dollars if I was a cute dog. Thank you for your business. Thank you. See you, doggies. Good doggos right there. <laughs> Didn't want to leave the store. Come on in. Welcome. We are open for business. You can have anything you want and it costs nothing. Okay, did you touch that bowl? Okay. Hey, she's a good doggo. If you need me to carry out a bag of food for you, I'll do it. Okay, one bag of food? Okay. It's all there. Oh, You're welcome. Thank you. She's loving this food. Another bag of food? <laughs> Don't touch that one. Oh my goodness. That's five bags of food. Go ahead, he can have whatever he wants. Come on, no. Whatever he wants. Just be a good stuff, okay? Back to the balls. Okay. Okay, more balls, more, more balls. Let like this, let like this, all those? Okay, okay. We got it. Here you go. I tell you what, he was such a good shopper. We, you, he didn't have to pay anything. Yay, yeah, no. it's all yours. Yay. See you, bud. Good boy. Let's go shopping. Come on. Let's do this. I'll, ca I'll grab a basket. Okay, come on. Come on. Okay, more of those. Oh. <laughs> For me, it's fun to just see these dogs shopping because they've, they've never got this experience before. So, you know, we just it's fun to let them take their time and enjoy it. And I just, I love it. Welcome to the pet store. Could I uh, help you shop today? Be your personal uh, shopping assistant? Okay, hi. Come on, Loki, look. I'll... Come on, Loki. Look, 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 what's that? Yes, sir. Yeah, let's take these. Okay. Let's see what you got. Okay. Nice doing business. Right, thank yeah, you. enjoy. Look at Loki, look at Loki. Star. You want to carry one of these out, Loki? Ooh, look, you want to put it in? Yeah. Carry it out. My name is Dez. I've been with the San Gabriel Valley Humane for about four months, I want to say. When I heard the pet store was coming, I thought it was a really exciting thing. When I hear people discriminating against pit bulls, I'll tell them to just open up your heart a little bit, you know, kind of have, be like open to like, you know, different dogs, different breeds, you know, any dog can be a bad dog. It just depends on how you bring them up. You know, if you bring them up rough and you're abusive to them, they can react in a very bad way. But if you're gentle and you're loving and you're caring, they will respond in a positive way. Okay, this right here is the cat room and they can't go shopping right now. They might run off. Uh, we don't know if any of them are leash trained, but that's not gonna stop us from showing some love to the cats. So we're gonna bring a bunch of stuff in the cat room and fill it up. I got this cat tree for them. We also took the time to build a turtle and a bunny department in this pet store because you may not know this, but the Humane Society actually takes all kinds of animals. We have a turtle and a rabbit. That is Squirtle. Squirtle? <laughs> okay. And that is Carmelo. Carmelo, okay. Oh, there she goes. oh she's going guys. shopping. Ah, uh, we did it. For more information on Zeus or to adopt him, link down below in the description.